All right, welcome to the Teachable Soul podcast. Today with me, I have Summer Bozahora and Naomi Rosak. They are both practitioners in the Inside Out Method, and we are going to learn a little bit about what that is and what that means and how you can use it yourself. How do you think this differs? I mean, other than, you know, from your personal experience, but how does this actually differ from psychology or counseling or talk therapy? This is a hard question. First, I have to say that I was hugely helped by the counselor that I saw. I cannot say enough good about it. I came in in pieces and she helped me put my pieces back together enough to get to a functional level again. So that's huge. Um, I think it's different because we have a thinking brain that deals in what people have told us our whole lives. It's that chatter brain that just goes on all the time about what we've done right, what we've done wrong, what we need to do that day, um, how we have defined all of our life experiences to ourselves, but only in our thoughts. And we have to do that to function, even like in an evolutionary sense, that's what we have to do. But when we work in, in Inside Out, we're leaving that sinking brain to the side and we're just falling into actual human experience. Not only are we inside ourselves with finding a real truth of what we've experienced, what really happened, not what we told ourselves about it, not what other people have told us about it, but exactly how we experience what happened. And then the beautiful thing is you're connecting to the energy of the universe, which also puts infinite possibility and infinite creativity in front of you so that any truth that comes up about where you are in a relationship right now can meet that that universal energy and can present any manner of choices and pathways and ways to move forward. Um, But they feel, they feel so intrinsically true when they come up in an inside out session that you don't doubt it. And you don't wonder, oh, did that really make sense? Or what the counselor said, I'm not sure if that sat well, part of it felt good, but the other part didn't feel right. You don't have to do that because what comes up is the truth from inside yourself. It's not somebody else putting it on you. Mm -hmm. It's work on an emotional level, but it's work about things that you may not even be able to verbalize. And verbalizing is usually important for a counseling session. Um, But in Summer's work, Summer, you can testify to this that sometimes it's not even verbal. Sometimes you sit with a client and there is silence for 10 minutes Well, they're in their own world. They're being shown things. They're being given this, their beautiful truths and images and um, solutions. And you just sit there in awe with tears streaming down your face as they go through their experience. And I'm not the, I'm not the one showing them what's happening or trying to push them to this other place. I'm just there holding that space for them. So it takes a little bit of the onus off the me as the coach or facilitator or the counselor and says, actually, we're all just human beings. I'm right in this together. We get to support each other in it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think what's also interesting is that sometimes as people are working through something emotional, their logical brain will actually jump in and say, well, you know, that's all very fine, but what about this? And we get to say, so ask that question, ask the energy that question. And then you get to integrate both. You get to integrate the whole person. You get to integrate the logical side with the emotional side and the spiritual side. And um, the person can leave that session not only with these emotional or realizations or truths, but also some concrete things that they can move forward with because you also invited the logical brain in, not in complete control, but in an integrated, everything works together kind of way. That to me is the difference. 